Welcome back, Officer Publics. Of course, normal police chief AB Gaines. We are back in the Win to Farm playlist, the playlist where we tell you when the best time to farm every character, team, galactic legend, ship, and all of that good stuff in the game so that you guys can look at your own rosters and make informed decisions on when to farm anything. Um, today, we're talking about SLKR. Now, before we get into the traditional when to farm SLKR conversation, Obviously, light speed bundles are out, and it doesn't look like they're going away anytime soon. CG's really big on this new gifting thing they added. I think they really love the fact that people in large quantities are spending small amounts of money, breaking that barrier of that first time spend. I think light speed bundles are here to say. So that means SLKR's barrier to like actually farm him is almost nothing. I mean, if you truly will never spend any money, the barrier is still there, and I'll give you guys a quick point on when to farm him if you're truly free to play. But if not, the conversation is, of course, quite different because you can spend $10 and get 90% of his requirements right away. Now, <clears throat> really quickly, before we talk about lightspeed bundles, if you're not ever spending a single cent in this game, it is probably not a good idea to farm SLKR until you already have two offensive and two defensive Galactic Legends. Um, I would likely say have have a JML and a JMK offense defense have a have a Jabba maybe you can have him as that fourth galactic legend I think that's probably a fine place to have him um he for his requirements in the traditional farming sense is not a huge value add that being said moving over to the light speed bundles you should if you're ever going to spend $10 you should get his Lightspeed Bundle. It gives you pretty much SLKR. I'm actually currently about to do the, you know, I'll actually just do it live right now. Why not? We're talking about him anyway. It basically gives you SLKR for free. The one thing that you do have to worry about is finalizer shards. So if you are going to do the Lightspeed Bundle, you don't necessarily have to immediately get SLKR right afterwards. If you're in the process of finishing off a backbone team like you just unlocked malgus and you want to relic him a couple of times or a couple you know get him a couple of relics iron out that team if you just got maul same thing with some mandalorians if you're in the process of farming a galactic legend at the moment say you know i'm 80 percent of the way through getting my jml uh, you should probably finish those other things first it takes a little bit of time to get the ship up and running um you can spend crystals to accelerate the process. I believe the ship event, excuse me, comes back twice a month. Uh, so if you are not going to accelerate that process, it can take a while, obviously, because you only get them at five stars, or you only get the ship at four stars for doing the, the unlock requirements. Um, if you are going to spend crystals, you can go straight into SLKR if it makes sense for you, if you're not in the middle of a big farm. But if not, you can do what I did. I was in the middle of farming Leia when the lightspeed bundles were first announced. I got Ray and SLKR at the exact same time. I got Ray first. Well, realistically, I got <laughs> I got Leia first, and then I got Ray, and then I got SLKR. The beauty about SLKR is he is such a powerful offensive team. But since GAC is very, very, very defensive focused, you can kind of hold on to his requirements for a little while and just keep them in the wing, right? You can iron a couple of other things out before you have to go in and fully commit, you know, to getting SLKR up and running. So realistically speaking i mean i let's say you bought the lightspeed bundle i would probably have if you're a brand new account i would probably get like a you know three or four of the core teams just so that you can like participate in the game you're not going to have a fleshed out roster where you can kind of go gung-ho with just a galactic legend and nothing else you're going to kind of need a, a a roster around him um, so I would say, you know, if you're past 2 million galactic power, to be perfectly honest, he's your first galactic legend. Sure. You know, that's fine. He's $10, you know, <laughs> it's better than farming, you know, JML for, for a few months of your life. Uh, but I would, I would most certainly wait if you're under 2 million GP or around that 2 million GP mark, I would 100% wait till you have at least a couple of teams. You can feel the full GAC. You can participate in Maybe not high-level raids because the raids are getting progressively more difficult as each new installation comes out. But you can participate in some territory battles. You can participate in some assault challenges uh, or whatever they're called, assault battles. Um, and just, like, play the game. 
but after you've kind of gotten past that 2 million GP mark where, you know, you're, you're accessing all the content, you, you have a fundamental, you know, you have an account, right? You can, you can finish off, uh, taking finalizer to five stars, getting the other relic sevens that are not part of the SLKR bundle and you can unlock him. Uh, I think I just got his ultimate right now. Let's see it. Maybe who knows victory last one success beautiful all right you guys ready i'm gonna leave you with this i've been a hater for so many years because it just didn't make sense but now the lightspeed bundle it has graced us with its magical ten dollar presence and now for the first time in a long time a viable galactic legend thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you and i'll see you later join the patreon if you want to use the cube so that you can review your own roster scout out your gac opponent and make sure that you have the most optimized defense to maximize destruction all right bye bye